Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're here to do my weekly check-in for the first week of March. Um, if you guys watched my March budget, you know that there's a lot of things kind of different with this month. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. I uploaded it uh, Monday, I think, and you guys would be watching this on Wednesday. Um, also, sorry for the background noise. I do have my printer going. I am printing stuff for June. Um, I'm trying to get that all done. But anyway, so let's just kind of jump in. Um, if you guys didn't watch my March budget with me, you know that I was expecting a $3,000 ish for my tax refund. Um, I did get that. And, but also for my other budgeted, which I decided to keep track of here because I know how I get when I have a budget for other things. Um, so I'm keeping track of that weekly, which as we get on later, it will end up being, I won't spend anything because a lot of it got spent in this first week because I'm an impatient person. So, um, let's just kind of look at that groceries. I don't know that there was anything in that first week. Um, nope, no groceries and no fuel in the first week. So that will make that super simple. Um, so this month for groceries, I budgeted 200 and 150 for the fuel or car expenses because I'm planning to get out and do DoorDash. Um, next week is vacation. So let's just kind of, I guess it's this, I'm filming this on Tuesday. This week is my vacation. Um, okay, so we still have 200 remaining and 150 remaining. Eating out is orange and there was none of that. So that is great. Basically, this uh, check-in is going to be my other budgeted items because if you can't tell, it's this turquoise color. There's a lot. And I will kind of go over that with you guys while I am adding up. Um, okay, so Ulta was $146.24. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I have extremely uh, thick coarse curly hair and so I use a lot of like specialized products for my hair which gets pricey and then I also get my face wash and my moisturizer from Ulta and so this was getting like a clarifying treatment um set there's like three products um it's from Curlsmith which I really love their products um but I got their uh, detox clarifying treatment set and then I got a face wash and a moisturizer and I feel like there was something else, but I can't remember. Those were the main things that I went there for. Um, but as you guys know, the Ulta is a bit pricey. Um, Kohl's $257.46. Uh, that's for like, I needed some clothing items. Declan needed some clothing stuff. Um, 91, 93. Again, that was, um, mostly like household stuff, stocking up. What else did I get? I, I don't know. This was like a whole week ago and I've had a headache since this day, which was probably why. Um, and then Chewy, uh, obviously that is for our cat food and that actually shipped, on the first, but I ran out of space, so I just put it on the next open day. And let's see, America's Mattress. Um, Declan got a bunk bed a while ago, and we've just had the one mattress, so I promised him that I would get him a second one if he could spend, if he would sleep in his room for, I think we said like 14 days, like two weeks, because he would bounce between my room and my mom's room. And so I told him if he could stay in his room for two weeks, then I would get him a second mattress. And he did phenomenal. So we did end up getting that. And then Skechers, because I love their socks. And um, our store here is an outlet. So the socks I get are um, $2.99 for a pack of three. And then um, Zag is where I get the screen protectors from my phone. Um, my phone, Declan's tablet, and all of our Nintendo Switches are on there. 
and my phone protector is a hot mess. It's chipped and it's cracked and it's bubbling and it's time for a new one. And what I love about Zag is because I already have their products, I just register the screen protector and then I go in for a warranty replacement and all they do is charge me shipping. And the only stipulation is that I have to send the broken one back to them, which is just fine. So, okay, that... And all of those have cleared. I just left them unchecked because I wanted to make sure. Okay, so that is a grand total of $681.16. And it was actually higher the first time I did like quick math on it. But I keep trying to order shoes for me and Declan from ASICS. This is blank because my first order for them was like $170. And it was two pairs for Declan and a pair for me. And that order was canceled. And then so I went to try to reorder and that order was canceled. So then I tried to order with one without one of the pairs of shoes he wanted that said it was almost out of stock. And that order was partially canceled. So my shoes are on their way. And I had to get um, some Skechers for Declan, which they're fine but they just, they don't seem to hold up as well for his, like, life. So we spent $681.16. And that leaves us with $318.84 um, left. So I did some damage on that budget. And that's fine. Um, let's see. I'm filming this on Tuesday, and so I'm just waiting for this to clear all the way through before I put the amount in there, because the amount I'm getting charged is just for my shoes, and so I'm waiting for the credit back on what they charged me for Declan's shoes. But it'll be about, uh, that'll be about 50. And so I'm looking at about 150 spent, so there's half of what's left. And that's fine, because getting on later, I shouldn't need anything else. Um, that is just a lot of stuff that I've been needing and been putting off. So that's kind of where that is. And then also with my refund, I was able to cover the rest of my bills for March. And um, I guess not all of them because I did, I paid off my Target card. I finished my emergency fund. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so now that I'm rambling, this is how we are looking for the weekly check-in. And so, so far, so good. This other budgeted category, I'm not, I'm concerned about, obviously, but I'm not like super concerned that I will go over because almost everything that I've budgeted for is already purchased. And now it's just like little household things. Like I know that I need toothpaste and Declan needs mouthwash. Like it's just little things like that. So I'm not super worried that after week two that I'll go over that amount by any means, but that's just kind of where we're sitting. And so, so far so good on everything else. And then obviously you saw in week two, there was some groceries, some fuel transactions. I'll have another grocery transaction, but we're still looking really good for the month. So anyway, I'm gonna end this here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.